Hi, everyone. Hey, today's the first day of December. And so we're gonna start doing our Christmas things early. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna do something today and then we might wait a few days to do um, more things, more art. But what I wanna do, because it's the first day of December, here, let me show you this calendar. I printed out this, this calendar that shows you December. And uh, I found one online. I just Googled December Christmas calendars and I printed it out. And if you guys wanna do this, this is optional, but if you wanna do this, you can, because you know what? When it's December 1st, kids start getting really excited about a holiday. What holiday's coming up in December? Christmas, right? So you guys get so excited that you start asking your parents every day, right? When is it Christmas? When is it Christmas? How many more days? So if you guys can find a nice December calendar, it can look what, you know, it, it can be whatever. There were like hundreds of them when I when I Googled that. Um, it's kind of nice because you can check off the days and then you can count the days to Christmas. There's a couple different ways you can do it, okay? So if you see, this says December 2020. December starts today on Tuesday. When you watch the good morning calendar, you'll see that we're gonna do it on the big calendar, right? Okay, and then the 25th of December is Christmas. And they put all the numbers here just in black, but on Christmas, they put it in red, okay? And if you want to, you could draw maybe a Christmas tree or something if you have that. I think I'll do that later. Okay, and then every day you can put a little X in the box or you could even color the box in. Okay, so let's do that. Um, I'm going to, sorry, I was not prepared. I, I was not thinking I was gonna color, but uh, look, right here on the 25th, I'm going to draw a Christmas tree. If you wanna draw an ornament or a Santa Claus or something like that, you can. Something that's gonna remind you that that's the day that we're that were, and I'll color that in later, okay? So I just drew a little Christmas tree. Okay, now, today is Tuesday, okay? That's our first day of December, and so when what we're gonna do is color that in. And um, I don't have my crayons here, but if we, if we color it in, then we'll know that one day has passed, and then you can count, you know, how many more days are left. So we would count all these days. I'm gonna be doing this with you guys every day on the calendar, so you'll see me do it. But if you do wanna start looking for a calendar since it's December 1st, it'd be a good thing to do. And then we're gonna also make something else. In the bag that I sent home, in the big grocery bag, you have the small bag of art uh, materials, you're gonna find uh, a bell. Okay, so it has a bell. I punched a hole in here in case you wanna put a piece of string in there and hang it somewhere, or you can use a thumb pack and put it on a, a bulletin board or something. Okay, it has a poem on it, and I'm gonna read that poem too, and I'm gonna explain it to you, okay? It says, it seems the Christmas season is the longest time of the year. How many days will it be before Santa will appear? Take a link from this bell when the Sandman's at your door. Christmas Eve will be here when there are no more. Okay, now I'm gonna explain that to you. The first verse, it seems the Christmas season is the longest time of the year. That means that way back after Halloween, they take the Halloween things down and in the stores they start putting Christmas things out, don't they? So when you're a kid, when you're five and six years old and you go into the store, you think Christmas is coming in a few days, right? I remember feeling that way. And then when December comes, you're so excited because you know that Christmas comes in December, but it takes 25 days. Christmas is December 25th, so it takes a long time. So I remember asking my mommy and daddy, when is Christmas? How many more days? When is Santa coming? Well, if you make this bell, you won't have to ask your mommy and daddy because you'll have a way of keeping track, okay? The next line says, how many days will it be before Santa will appear? Well, Santa comes on Christmas Eve, doesn't he? So if Christmas Day is the 25th of December and Santa Claus comes Christmas Eve, that's the 24th. So 24 days it takes before Santa starts getting in a sleigh and making his trips around the world, right, to deliver presents. Then it says, take a link from this bell when the Sandman's at the door. I'll tell you about the links in a minute. The Sandman, there used to be a, a song saying, Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Um, the Sandman is when you're dreaming. Okay, when you go to sleep at night, you might dream of, can you just dream of like being on the beach and the sand is coming and, 
and you're laying on the warm sand. The sandman's coming. He's putting you to sleep. It's kind of a dream state, okay? So it's just that just means nighttime. Take a link from the bell when the sandman's at your door, when the day is over. So at the end of the day is when you're going to take the little link off. I'll show you that in a minute. I'll probably be taking mine off. Hmm, I might have to wait the next morning when we do the calendar. I think I'm going to have to do that. I'll do it the next day. Okay, yeah, don't worry. You'll understand. And then at the end, it says Christmas Eve will be here when there are no more. So what we need to do is we, we need to put some links, some little uh, circles, chain, like a paper chain, on our bell. And so if you, um, all of this was paper clipped together, if you guys noticed, there were some green and red strips, and there was one yellow strip. Okay, so what you're gonna do is get your yellow strip first. And what I did is I used an X-Acto knife to cut a little slit right here, okay? So that first yellow strip is gonna go through that slit, okay? And I don't know if you guys have ever made a paper chain, but that's what we're gonna do. A big paper chain, but it's gonna be stuck to this bell, okay? Now, we need to glue these together. So you're gonna need a glue, oops, you're gonna need a glue stick. And I do wanna show you how to do this. I've been doing this for a long time, for many, many years. So I know there's a, a way that you have to do it, okay? So I'm gonna get out my glue stick and twist it up. I know this is different than the one I gave you guys, but you know, I'm gonna put some glue stick just on the end now I'm wishing I had the purple glue stick because you could see it better, but I think you'll be able to see it's it's really sticky. I just put it at the end. You don't need to put it on the whole strip. Now, be really careful. Parents, you might have to help them with the first few because the kids naturally want to go like this. They want to go like that. But if we do that, see how pointy that is? We don't want it to be pointy like that. It looks like a raindrop. We want it to be a circle. So let me take that off. I'm going to take the side with the glue and I'm gonna overlap. I'm gonna turn it around and put it on top of the other one. And then I'm gonna pinch it. And I, I'm gonna hold on to that for 10 seconds and not a fast 10, a slow 10. So guess what? I'm putting this on the math assignment today because this is gonna be their math today because there's gonna be lots of counting. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, hook it together, pinch it tight with my fingers and count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now I didn't count fast, I counted really slow. Okay, now here is my bell. So the yellow one is gonna be like the ringer. Ding dong, ding dong, okay? And this is actually gonna be the strip that's gonna be left on here. You don't ever have to take this off for Christmas, okay? When you get to this strip, it's gonna be December 25th. Okay, now I don't care what color you start with, but we're gonna do a pattern. And since my bell is red, I'm gonna start with a green strip. And uh, boys and girls, if your bell is green, you'll start with a red strip. And I can't remember if I gave, I think I may have given girls red, boys green, but um, it doesn't really matter, okay, what color you got. They're both beautiful Christmas colors, right? Okay, now, um, when you get your strips out, I very carefully counted, but you might wanna count again. We're doing this on December 4th, December 1st, so we should have 24 altogether. Now, that's a lot of counting. There are 12 green and 12 red. So I want you guys to count first and make sure that Mrs. Jenkins did it right. If not, parents, I don't know if you guys have construction paper or you might just have to adjust it. Just use what you have and adjust it to the date. But I'm gonna go ahead and count. You guys count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh oh. 11, do I have another green one? Okay, <laughs> uh-oh, maybe two got stuck together. I'm gonna try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, I have to go get another one. That's okay, I have one in another bag. And I'm gonna count my reds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I got the right number of red. Okay, that's fine. I, I will just add another one because I'm not gonna be able to do the whole thing with you guys anyways. Okay, now this one, I'm gonna put this strip on, but I'm gonna put the glue stick on it before I, I loop it through, okay? So watch me, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue stick right on the end. 
well, I shouldn't say a little. If you don't use enough, it'll just come apart. And if you don't hold it long enough, it's gonna come apart. Now, I'm just gonna uh, link this through my circle that I had, okay? And now I wanna make a circle out of the green one. So you fold it around like this. Now remember, we're not gonna go like that and make a raindrop. We're gonna curve it, and then the side with the glue, we're gonna just overlap a little bit. Now this is the important part. Pinch it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm holding it for 10 seconds and pinching it tight. When we do this at the table, uh, you know, in the classroom at the table, the kids, some kids don't hold it long enough or don't put enough glue on, <laughs> upside down. And what happens is all of a sudden they'll get a whole bunch and they'll start popping off. They'll start coming off and then the kids get upset. We have to do it over. So you've got to, it. It's worth taking your time. This is your math today. It's a fun math. It's math and art all in one. Okay, so my pattern, I've got a red bell. Okay, this is not part of the pattern. Then I'm going to go green. Now I'm going to go red. It's going to be an A, B pattern. Now remember, see, I could put this through here right now, but then it would be hard for me to, I'd have to let go and put the glue on. So it's better to put the glue on. Okay, I'm going to put the glue on just the end of the strip. Okay, and I, I don't want too much, but if you only put a tiny bit, it's not going to stick. See how I went all the way? I'd say that's almost an inch, right? Okay, now that, that goes through. It goes through the last one you just put on. Don't put it through the yellow. I'm going to put it through the green. And then remember how I have to curve it around like a circle. This is really good for fine motor skills too. And really, parents, you might start your kids and get them going, but we make the kids do them by themselves. They really do do them by themselves. Some need a little more help than others. Some are really good at it, and then they end up helping other kids. But watch, okay, overlap. And then I'm gonna hold it down. Once it's stuck, make sure this is the important part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay? I went to 12 that time, huh? Okay, so look, now I've got my green, my red, and our pattern's gonna be, okay, green, red, back to green, okay? I'm just gonna do a few more because I know you guys are gonna get it, and then I'll finish it later. So look, I've got my green, I've got my green, I've got my glue on it. Now be careful because sometimes the kids you know, they, they stick it on and then they go through this one or they go through this one again. You've got to hold it and get to the end, okay? I loop it, I make my circle. Okay, remember, this is the wrong way. Let me show you now, okay? You don't want to go like that. They're, they're not supposed to be little raindrops, right? They're supposed to be a circle. So I'm going to take mine apart and do it again. And I'm going to hold it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's look at our pattern again. Remember the yellow one doesn't count. So I started with my red bell, green, red, green. I'm going to do another red, right? A, B, A, B. I'll just kind of talk um, and put this on because you guys, I think, understand now. Put that glue stick on. I, I link it. I loop it through. Make a nice circle. Overlap. Press it down. Count to ten. Pinch it. it count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, um, the reason there's 12 red and 12 green is because we want 24 strips all together. And then the yellow one makes it 25. Okay, because there's 25, 24 days to Christmas. So if we think about the poem again, what's gonna happen? When I'm all done, and I, this is, I'm gonna stop right now. When I'm all done, it's gonna go all the way to the ground. You're gonna see it when you watch the calendar today. Maybe you've already watched the calendar. Um, it's gonna go all the way to the ground because there's gonna be 24. There's gonna be 12 red, 12 green, and one yellow, okay? Now, at the end of the day, before you go to bed, before the Sandman comes to your door and gives you the dreams, you can take one off. I'm gonna be taking mine off the next day because I don't think it would make sense if I take it off right away. Uh, the day isn't over yet. You kind of have to wait till the day is over before you take it off. And then you'll keep doing that. And then as we get closer to Christmas, we can count and we'll see how many days it takes to get to Christmas. I hope you guys have fun. This is gonna be your math today because there's gonna be lots of counting. You're gonna be counting, you're gonna be doing patterns. And um, when you're all done, make sure you have 12 green, 12 red. And if for some reason I didn't give you enough, you'll just have to um, start one day later taking them off, okay? Because you, and parents, you can figure that out and help them out. Okay, good job. I hope you have fun making your bell with your 
uh, paper chains, your red and green paper chains, and we're going to have fun counting the days to Christmas. Bye-bye.